Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely day. In today's episode of It's a Consumer Unfriendly World, we're going to be looking at Samsung, who has decided to shove a forced arbitration clause down the throats of their customers via a software update. This comes from Samsung, and it appears to include a mandatory individual arbitration provision. Lewis, check out this stupidity. Samsung requires software updates, and you can't opt out of them. Last update, they removed control of shutting off 5G data, which was already in a hidden menu. I live in South Carolina, and 5G sucks here. This time, they're forcing some arbitration clause and say you waive the right to a jury trial on their website. You don't own your Samsung device, and if you want to fight for it, you have to go to arbitrators that are literally paid by Samsung. So the inability to turn off 5G data is something that really does suck. Whether I'm using AT&T or T-Mobile, it doesn't matter. Across the country, very often, 5G sucks. If you turn off 5G and tell your phone to use LTE only, you will go from a connection that gets you sometimes 5 megabytes per second, sometimes 8 kilobytes per second, to a connection that gives you a steady 300 to 800 kilobytes per second. And I tend to prefer the connection that gives me a steady connection, even if it's a little bit slower, than a connection that can sometimes be really fast, and sometimes be almost dial-up. This is, in my opinion, even more offensive than that. So let's read it. This is from the Samsung Terms of Service that, again, if, if you want an update on the device, you're going to be signing this thing, and you have to do the updates. These terms contain both a mandatory individual arbitration provision and a class action slash jury trial waiver provision. These provisions require the use of the arbitration on an individual basis to resolve disputes, rather than jury trials or class actions. By using the sites, you expressly agree to and be bound by and abide by them, including the mandatory individual arbitration provision and the class action jury trial waiver provision. If you do not agree to these terms, you should not access or use these sites, you must immediately discontinue any and all use of the sites. Now, there are many reasons that people may want to take part in a class action lawsuit. For instance, when I tend to talk about their competitor, Apple, I'm often bringing up design flaws in their products and design defects that, in my opinion, shouldn't exist or be there. Or if they do exist, at the very least, should be covered by the manufacturer because many of these particular flaws do not exist in any of their competitors' devices, many of which cost one quarter as much. I go over the many of these and the horrible truth about Apple's repeated engineering failures. And many of these, Apple had their arm twisted into finally covering under an extended warranty program only after there was a class action lawsuit filed. The class action lawsuit at the end of the day it's a way to make the lawyers rich and get everybody a $1 check on their fridge. I'm not really interested in the class action lawsuit to enrich me personally. It is a vehicle that people use to be able to get the manufacturer to cover something that should be covered under warranty because it's their fault. There's an obvious reason why many manufacturers may want to force people into this arbitration nonsense where the person that's deciding whether the company did something wrong is somebody that's paid by the company. And this is obviously a negative thing. And when you look at the decisions that Samsung has made over the past eight months, I honestly cannot imagine a good reason to buy from this company. So, A, they've tried to use a pattern on pixel formation from damn near 20 years ago to justify barring the import of any third-party screen into the country that you could use to repair their products. B, when they did an AMA on Reddit, they deleted almost every real question. C, their authorized repair process is almost engineered and designed to be complete and utter garbage that makes it less convenient for both the customer and the authorized service provider. And D, forced arbitration and waiving right to a jury trial or a class action lawsuit. This is aside from the fact that they have removed the headphone jack. This is aside from the fact that they have removed the re user removable battery from most of their flagship products. This is besides the fact that they have removed the micro SD card slot. Everything that made this company not Apple is now gone. This is essentially everything that I have ever criticized Apple for, and dare I say it, even more on top I remember buying a Samsung phone back in the day when I got my Samsung Galaxy S 4G back in 2010 because what they provided to me was the opposite of the experience that I had when I used a device with iOS. Now, when you buy a Samsung phone, the battery is sealed shut, check. No micro SD card slot, check. No headphone jack, check. Inability to unlock the bootloader so that I can install an operating system of my choice, check. And now they're going out of their way to make it more difficult to hold them accountable or responsible if they have the design flaws of their competitors. And they're trying to ruin the entire repair industry. In my opinion, Samsung has drew their line in the sand and made it very clear and obvious that they are not a pro-consumer company in any way, shape, or form. They have copied their competitor in every way possible. I cannot in any way way recognize the Samsung of 2023 as the Samsung of 2010, 
whose products I purchased and spent money on with pride and honor as I got something with a micro SD card slot, a great looking screen, headphone jack, user removable battery, none of this trying to destroy the entire independent repair industry nonsense. What do you think of forced arbitration? What would you do if you owned a Samsung device and in order to get an update, you had to click through this? Would, are you okay with that? Would this affect whether or not you're going to purchase a Samsung device into the future? And above all, is this something that you're willing to tell people in your life about? Because let's face it, most people are not reading the terms of service, nor do they care. But they will listen to people whose opinions they find valuable. And I hope that they'll listen to yours. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.